What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can read them for yourself or you can just watch this video where I'm going to read them to you, basically. And, uh, you know, go from there. Also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right, now that we got that business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? Now, this one came out and I was quite excited about it. Now, I just want to say right now, this comes from the Daily Mail. Um, and it says right here, it says, uh, the Legend of Zelda live action movie finally happening for Nintendo and Sony Pictures with uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and Avi Arad producing. Now, these are the bullet points up here, but I'm going to read the article, you guys. And I want to just talk to you about this real quick. Because first off, I want to say I am not like I am a Zelda fan, but I'm not like a Zelda stan. Like I, I do. Uh, I have played a couple of the games, but like I remember the story very vaguely. And I went from what I remember, I did really like it. Um, uh, Link is a cool character. Uh, you know, the princess is a cool character, all that stuff. And I think that this will just be come down to casting. Uh, which I don't really have any thoughts on that, but let's 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 read this article and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so more than 37 years after the Legend of Zelda video game was first released on the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES Nintendo is now developing a Zelda movie. I also want to talk about uh, who they've picked for this, but give me two seconds. Nintendo issued a press release on Tuesday revealing that the film has officially started development. Uh, uh, Shiguru uh, Miyamoto, who created the original NES uh, Nintendo Legend of Zelda video game with uh, Takashi uh, Tenzuka, is producing the film, which I think it's always good to have your to have whoever created it in the the mix, because I think that when you look at stuff like Mario Brothers, which they just which they mention in this, um, th like th people. Mario Brothers did so well, and it's because they had the creators of that involved. So it says, Miyamoto will also produce alongside Avi Arid, which is my hugest red flag right there. That's a huge uh, red flag. With Wes Ball, Maze Runner trilogy set to direct. So first off, I think that Avi Arid, uh, if you, uh, years ago, we'll say like 10 years ago, if you said Avi Arid um, was going to produce your movie, it was it was really like a, a kind of a positive thing. But then slow, like over time, it started to become hit or miss. And now it's just like, I'm sorry, me person, when you say Avi Arad is involved, I go, whoa, backing up. Like this guy, um, he produced a lot of shit. And and that's sad. You know, I mean, they're mentioning uh, right here in this thing across the Spider-Verse. And yeah, he he produced that. But I just go, that movie was, those two, both those movies were very good, in my opinion. And, you know, I'm pretty sure whatever it is, comic book wise, he's just latching onto it. Okay. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with Spider Man, in my opinion. Even those um, Andrew Garfield movies, they're not very good, but they made some money. I'll tell you that. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and then as far as West Ball goes, those Maze Runner trilogy movies, I mean, the first one was okay, but the other two are, the other, what is it, three, two, three, I don't remember. But those, I personally was just like, this is not very good. I'm like not interested in this anymore. I do not want to watch this. So, yeah. All right. So the announcement also came just hours after it was revealed that Nintendo's blockbuster Super Mario Brothers helped boost the company's overall profits. And of course it did. This is Zelda right here. That's Link. Um, of course it did because, you know, um, that movie did so well and people are are really happy about it and excited. All right. So these are the people involved. That's Zelda. That's Miyamoto. Uh, this is um, West Ball. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it says, okay, so it says, Miyamoto also issued a statement on his official Nintendo Twitter page alongside the press release. I have been working uh, on the live action film of The Legend of Zelda for many years now with Avi R. Edson. Uh, so, uh, who produced my many mega hit films? He began. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he did. He did produce some mega hit films. I mean, and and I listen, as far as Avi Arwood goes, 
I can't deny that he has produced some good movies that I enjoy. I'm just saying he's also produced some real big clunkers, you guys. I'm just saying. We have to be honest about this shit. So it says, I have asked Avisan. I love how he says Avisan. That's so great. To produce this film with me. And we have now officially started the development of the film with Nintendo itself heavily involved in the production. He added, Miyamoto admitted it will take time until its completion, but I hope you look forward to seeing it. The news comes seven months after the Super Mario Brothers, based on the hit video game, also created by Miyamoto, debuted at $146.3 million in route to $574.9 million domestic. Second biggest gross in 2023 behind Barbie's $336 million and $1.3 billion worldwide. The Super Mario Brothers movie was the first project based on Nintendo video games since the 1993 Super Mario Brothers movie starring John Leguizamo and Bill Hopkins, which was a colossal failure. That's true, but I have to be honest with you, I still like that movie. <laughs> so It's bad, but I love it because it's so bad. Uh, now that the new Mario Brothers movie proved to be a huge hit, Nintendo is looking to capitalize on the success of its adaptation. All right, we're not going to read the rest of that part because it's not that big a deal. This is his his Twitter account. There's Miyamoto. Very fun guy. He looks like a fun guy. Um, you know, yeah. So here's another thing that I just go, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. So Sony Pictures Entertainment Inc. will handle the worldwide theatrical distribution of the film as well. I have a problem with this in terms of the fact that it's Sony. I wish they had stayed with Universal. I'm pretty sure there's some legalities in terms of why they're going with Sony. But I personally wish they had stayed with Universal. I think that Universal is doing a good job. They did a good, they did a good job with Mario Brothers. Why not? Stay? And Universal is doing a great job overall, especially in animation. I mean, they got the trolls coming out as of recording this and um you know and i just think that that i think universal is knocking it out of the park so i i i if i was them i would have tried really really hard to stick with universal in our video their video game uh department uh, video game to movie department the the legend of zelda was released in february 1986 and a fan con, a famicon system in uh japan and for the nes uh in america uh the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, in August 1987, with the story inspired by Miyamoto's childhood explorations of the forest near him, his home in San, uh, Sanboye, Japan. The original game follows Link, an elf-like uh, Highland uh, warrior, and Princess Zelda, who team up to stop the evil Ganon from taking over their land of Hyrule. The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of the Link followed, and then there have been 20 games released within Ze Legend of Zelda franchise to date, including 2017's Breath of the Wild and this year's Tears of the Kingdom, both of which are considered among the greatest video games of all times. I have not played the, oh, dude, I haven't played Zelda in like forever. Uh, but I just remember liking it, um, you know, and Link, Link doesn't talk. He's mute. So it'll be interesting to see what they do there. Um, that is okay. So that's the other article. What they didn't mention in this article, I thought they had mentioned it. I remember reading it was that um, I'm going to leave it right there on the Zelda picture was that it's going to be live action. It's not going to be animated. And I think that that's a mistake in my opinion. I think that it should have been animated like the Mario brothers movie. And I, I just because now we got to go with casting and who do you cast? I also think that they should cast newbies. I would try to get people well, for at least for Link and Zelda. I would get totally new people that, you know, the people you've never heard of, or at least if you've heard of them, they're very like it's very small and everything in terms of like, you know, they've been in very little. But I do not think uh, I do not think that it, it'll be. um I just don't think that it's it's a right the right choice to make it a live action movie. I think that they should definitely do animation and they should they should stick to that because that just I think all the Nintendo stuff should be uh, um, animated, not live action. I just think it would work better. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion. OK, tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you guys feel about this Legend of Zelda movie? Like, do you think um, do you think are you like me and you think that it shouldn't be a live action movie, that it should be a animated movie? Because I think it should be an animated movie. I think that's a better choice. But what do I know? You know? 
But I do, I do remember liking Zelda, and I'll watch those uh, cutscene movies. Those are always fun. But let's see how this turns out. I'm, I'm very curious to see who they cast. All right, you guys, that's my video. Tell me what you guys think about all of this. You can go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.